Everyone's free. Time for your appointment. 808, time for your appointment. Gentlemen, the state is prepared to offer you a deal. You can elect to spend the rest of your days rotting in this space prison, or you can choose to work in the special service section of the police. You mean we can stay here or do the high-risk jobs nobody else wants? It won't make fuck-all difference. We'll never get our freedom. That's not entirely true. For every A-class cyber criminal you apprehend, the state has very generously agreed to knock a bit off your sentence. We can't say fairer than that. I think that's a pretty good deal for scum like you lot. Well, that's it. The choice is yours. You can take it or leave it. Ha! Ah, stinks like a weak old fish. I don't think anything could be worse than being in here. If you want to give me a chance, you can count me in. Yeah, me too. Any chance of getting my freedom has got to be better than no fucking chance. All right, you two, it's a deal. Now, what about you, then, Son Goku? What's your choice, Mr. Hotshot? You want a second chance? Then pick this up. Okay, okay, I don't want to buck the trend. I accept your most generous goddamn offer. Like I've got any fucking choice. How do you know I'm not gonna kill you with it? <laughs> Barsass, raise the drawbridge. I can't do that without a reason. Because, shithead, the fuck I'm supposed to arrest will be over the hills and far away if you don't. Okay? I understand. The bridge may be raised specially by Section 21 of the police charter in such circumstances. I'll do it.
Now then, young man. It's far too late for a little lad like you to be out on his own. It's way past your bedtime, motherfucker. Oh! Fuck you, pig! Please supply a containment vehicle for the suspect. Roger. Please give us your sector location details. We're at Bay Bridge 13. Roger. Message received and understood. I am authorized to extend the state's congratulations on the success of your mission. Yeah, yippee, whoop the fucking do. Just piss off and let me enjoy my motherfucking hangover in peace, will you? It is my duty to remind you that you are forbidden the consumption of alcohol. The drug results in impaired motor neuron response which will hinder your work. You're really all hard, aren't you, you asshole? Listen, if you're remotely interested in my welfare, then just shut up. Your welfare is one of my primary programming directives. Well, my welfare requires that I get away from you. sunshine boy yeah cut the funnies Just get your ass down to the station now and if you're very lucky i won't explode the collar around your worthless neck understand you think i care with a hangover like mine it'd be a mercy killing don't tempt me now just get yourself down here double quick that's all oh, fuck it. Traffic information. There are delays in zone 71 for 20 kilometers along the inner loop line. <sighs> with three years and six months against your sentence. You now have only 312 years, four months, two days to serve. Huh. That's a sick joke. So how many more of these sad bastards have I got to nail before I get rid of this goddamn dog collar? Insufficient data. Here's the file. You're late. Well, golly gee, you're right. I think I'm gonna die of embarrassment. So what's the problem? 
50,000 people are trapped in a cyber city skyscraper. So what happened? Someone lock up for the night and lose the key? Nearly. Someone's broken into its main computer and jammed the system. The most serious aspect of this crime is that the building's central computer is linked to the military's mainframe computer. It is theoretically possible for the perpetrator to gain control of Oedo's weapon systems. Sounds like major league crime. What do the hoods want? File access accepted. Subject, Yashi Kazu Amachi, age 51. Current location, occupation, and status unknown. Yeah, well, as yet we don't know who's behind this or why. Assuming this is ransom on a grand scale, I guess we'll get their demand shortly. In the meantime, I want you to get yourself over there and try and figure out a way of getting those poor suckers out of the place before this asshole blows the whole fucking joint to hell just for the fun of it. You got any hot tips? We are currently checking data banks for all possibilities. Take Gogol and Benton with you and fill them in on the situation. You fuck this up and I'll pop all your collars for sure. <laughs> You're a real grade-A humanitarian. I do my best. Now you got 23 hours and 16 minutes to go. If you ain't got a result by then, your head will be filing a divorce against your body. Well, it'll cost you a fortune in alimony. Oh, by the way, Hazagawa, take your head out of your ass. Subject Dave Kurokawa, Federal File 784716R. Access denied. Standing here at the base of the skyscraper, and the scene really is one of pandemonium. Families and friends of many of those trapped inside are gathering, hoping for some news. But so far, we've not even had any demands from the as yet unknown party or parties behind this. As I understand it, the authorities are currently trying to return the building's computer to their control. But so far, it seems with little success. This is Canny Crashes Under for Oedo News. <laughs> what a fucking mess. A whole city out of control and all because some shit for brains computer got hijacked. What's that saying? To make a mistake is human, but to really fuck things up you need a computer. Ain't that right, shithead? The building's computer and myself have been designed and built by humans. Therefore, we inherit their faults. Ha. Huh. Well, you're sure as hell right there. Between the two of us, we can screw up the whole world. I'm just surprised it's taken this long. Have you set the security system? The system is loading in. Good. And the main program? The download is complete. Files two and three have been accessed from an external source. The security overrides have been broken. Try to isolate the local network. No, the main grid, immediately. It's already locked in. How's it going then, Gogol? B-A-D. It's like playing chess against a grandmaster. Every move we make, he's already anticipated it three moves earlier. So whatever else this guy may be, we know he is a computer genius. You betcha. Normally no one could access the building's computer system without the proper password, but this guy broke in in a matter of seconds. And just in case you're not impressed enough, he managed the whole thing without access to the building's main computer terminal. Excuse me, Gogo. It is erroneous to draw such a conclusion from the data we currently have available. Well, is there a way of tracking the break-in? No, that's impossible. He's left a web of ice. That's intruder countermeasure electronics. Putting a trace on it would release the security demon of the eighth power. That doesn't exactly sound groovy. It isn't. Here, have a word with Okio. She's one of the lucky 50,000. Cheer her up. What's she doing here? She was helping with the evacuation, and then she got herself stuck in the lift. This is Okio Jonucci speaking. Hi there. Hi, Sengoku. So are you having fun yet? Listen, which floor are you stuck on? Somewhere around about the 222nd. How many people are with you? About 10. That's not too bad. Let's just hope none of them got diarrhea, huh? Oh, ho, ho, Sengoku. Very I funny. I my best. Look, I gotta go. See ya. I've got to hand it to you, Sengoku. You always knew how to charm the women. It's just my way of telling her she's in deep shit. I just hope we're not going to be attending a memorial service for her. That'd be a real fucking pisser. 
What's all that? It's the main computer room trying to make contact. How many people are stuck in there? Just one guy. His name's Dave Kurakawa. He's a shit-hot programmer. I guess he's getting to feel a bit lonely stuck up there in his own as his communications have been cut off, which is a pain in the shitter, really. You see, he designed most of this system. So it'd be really useful if I could find a way up there and have a chat with him. Well, Banton's trying at the moment, but I don't fancy your chances. The corridors are covered in security lasers, and there are heavy fire doors at each end. Even the maintenance shafts have droid patrols, and the whole lot's locked on red alert. It's a real fuck-up. It just gets better and better. That's just what Benton said. Why don't you go and see if he's making any progress? <laughs> Most impressive poetry in motion. Barsus, calculate the duration of the laser fire. Duration is 0.5 seconds. However, there is a firing delay of 0.25 seconds to allow for targeting. Okay, how long can it last? The laser's internal power pack will be exhausted in 3.2 seconds. It will require 5 seconds to recharge. The distance to the computer room is 107.2 meters. <laughs> Listen, you keep playing with the fairy lights. <laughs> Give me the magnum. I'm gonna check out the service ducts. Fingerprint identification is verified. Catch you later, Benton. Come on, hurry it up before we get old. Time to get a few years knocked off my sentence. <laughs> Where are the motivators located on a duck droid? Is it a Type AU-50 or is it a Type Iwata 896? How the fucking hell do I know? The AU is on the upper right service panel. Type 896, it's at the end of the arm. This system has been carried over onto the latest Type 459. Given that this building is 15 years old, it is probable you have found an AU-50, in which case try shooting upper right. If that doesn't work, it might be an 896, in which case... Dave Kurakawa, I presume. Correct. And what's your name? Officer Sengoku at your service. You mean you're a policeman? <laughs> what's so fucking funny? Forgive me, but you're way out of your league. There's no way you can protect me from the forces at work here. If it's all the same to you, I'd like to stay here. Believe me, there's no safer place right now than where we are. What are you talking about? You see, I've succeeded in isolating the security systems around the room. So I'm still one step ahead of him. Are you saying you know who's behind this? Sure I do, but if I was you, I'd forget all about it. All the cops in the world couldn't catch this guy. Huh? You're probably right, but why not give us the benefit of the doubt? Well, okay, I'll tell you. Not that I think it's going to help you. The guy's called Yoshikazu Amachi. You got any proof? He was deeply involved in the construction of this skyscraper. He's the only person I know of that could have done something like this. Varsas, I want you to check out this guy for me. He's Yoshikazu Amachi. Roger. Now what the hell does this mean? The intruder countermeasure electronics appear to come from somewhere inside the building. That can't be right. If it were, that would mean the suspect was hiding somewhere in the building. 
Come on, come on, where are you, you cocksucking son of a bitch? Subject, Yashikazu Amachi, Australian of Japanese descent, senior system programmer and project leader on this skyscraper's construction team, specialist field, artificial cybergenic intelligence systems, their development, construction and maintenance. Whereabouts unknown since 2793. All further information on subject Yashikazu Amachi is registered as classified under the Oedo State Information Amendment 310, therefore I am unable to access out. They say your man disappeared some 15 years ago. Of course I know he's disappeared. He spent the last 15 years hiding in Oedo, so go and look for him. Huh? huh? Shit! So it's you this guy wants. You must have pissed him off pretty bad to get this kind of payback. So why don't you level with me and tell me what's going on? Hey, fuck you! You know far too much already, you son of a bitch! Ugh. You be sure to say hello to Jesus for me! Well, I never. The goddamn fingerprint lock actually works on this thing. You know, I've just thought of a very interesting experiment to try with this gun. Let's see if it still recognizes my fingerprints. Don't worry if the gun goes off, you ain't gonna know fuck all about it. Hey, you can't shoot me, remember you're a policeman! I'm not a cop. I'm just a cyber criminal doing a little bit of community service. All right, I understand where you're coming from, just don't kill me! Well, you got a choice. Either you tell me all about Amachi, or I pull this trigger. Oh, come on. This can't be the hardest decision you've had to make. That bastard Amachi was a genius. About 16 years ago, we were both commissioned to work on the construction of this, Oedo's largest and most prestigious building, as Joint Chiefs of Engineering. At first, everything was fine, but gradually, I began to realize he was a far greater engineer and designer than I could ever hope to become. It became quite clear to me that if I wanted to escape from his shadow and become an engineer of some standing with my own reputation, then I would have to get rid of him. We were on the site late one night. Everyone else had gone. I decided that I would kill him. At last, I was rid of him. It seems inconceivable that he could have survived. Uh, but who else could it possibly be? It's nearly driven me insane. I feel as if his ghost is haunting me, trying to take some terrible revenge. Now what? I don't believe it. 
Varsas, give me a line to Sengoku. Roger. Sengoku here. Hi, it's me. Listen, I found the source of the transmissions. Now get this. The suspect is here in the building with us. Huh. Hiding right under our noses. Huh. As far as I can make out, he's at the center of Corridor 63. Nice work, Ogle. I'm gonna check him out. Warning. Hand over Kurokawa. Warning. Hand over Kurokawa. Warning. Oh, go fuck yourself. I got your number now, metalhead. So just sit tight, cause I'm coming for you. Don't just sit there. Release all the security locks around the room. And do try to be a good boy while I'm gone, huh? That's as close as you got? Well, never mind. He's in Corridor 63. You can join me if you feel like doing something useful. Hmm. The stars are not in alignment. It's a bad omen. trying to connect up to the military. What system's he trying to use? Oh my god, he's locking up to the 30 gigawatt satellite laser cannon. He's targeting this building. Well, gentlemen, things could get real hot around here. You must be crazy. Okay, let's look lively. I want all systems put under my control. Wouldn't you fucking know it? We picked the rush hour to chase the bad guys. Out or be late for my appointment. Gotcha, you sucker. Oh, for Christ's sakes. are coming to a halt. If they completely stop, the building will come down like a ton of bricks. full right now. I've recorded Dave Kurokawa's confession as evidence. You have authorization for his execution. He can wait. Hey, listen up, tough guy. I'm ordering you to kill Kurokawa now, so look lively and get to it. Yeah, well, I'd love to, but like I said, right now it's inconvenient. Kurokawa has committed a federal offense, and the son of a bitch has been living like a king off the back of it for far too long. Now the state wants its pound of flesh, so drop whatever it is the hell you're doing and see justice is done. Ha! Don't talk to me about justice. How do you think I ended up in this goddamn mess? As if I need to ask you. Right now I gotta settle things with Amachi. Don't you get it yet? 
Killing Kurokawa will settle the situation, so follow your goddamn orders and go kill a son of a bitch. Okay, tell you what, I'll think about it. But right now, I've got company. Barsas, how many blocks are there in Corridor 63? Twelve blocks. Hmm. You sure about that? Affirmative. Something's wrong here. It's like there's a block that's gone missing. Well, this is the end of the line. Or is it? I wonder. As I thought, it's a hologram. Simulate your way out of this, you cocksucker! So this time I'm downloading you straight into hell. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank God we're safe. Varsas, mission accomplished. Tell the puppet master. Puppet master does not compute. I have no record of any such person or organization. Please clarify. Hasagawa, you fucking idiot! This is bullshit. Why hasn't my sentence been reduced? Correction, because you deliberately disobeyed Hasegawa's orders. Your sentence has now been increased by 10 years and 6 months to 315 years and 2 months. Why, you bureaucratic shithead? Oh, let it go, Sengoku. You'll never be able to talk him out of it. I agree with Benton. At least we saved the skyscraper and that prick Hasegawa didn't pop our heads off with these fucking collars, so don't bother getting so steamed up over another 10 years. Go fuck yourself, Gogol. Listen, you miserable, good-for-nothing piece of tin plate of scrap iron. Either you reduce my sins or I'm gonna fucking break you up. But first, I'm gonna take you and shove you right up Hasegawa's ass where you goddamn well belong. Oh, there you are, Sengoku. I'm glad I caught you before you went out. Tell me what I should write in this space in Section A. It doesn't make any sense. This Yoshikazu Amachi is supposed to have died some 15 years ago. And yet it says in your report that you killed him on Thursday. Get Metalhead here to explain. Oh, but Varsis doesn't even know where to file this report either. What the hell am I going to do with the damn thing? Just say you haven't got enough data to finish it. I mean, fuck knows Amachi was dead all right, but somehow his consciousness could control the computer he built while alive. Over the intervening 15 years, it must have been brewing up a plan to revenge itself on Kurakawa. Or something like that. Christ, I don't know. Write what you like in the report. There's only one thing we can know for certain. Dave Kurakawa and Amachi were a perfect match for each other, the bastards. Their egos in that tower block cost them both their lives. May they rot in hell. Hmm. Oh well, never mind. Hey, tell you what, why don't you buy me dinner? Because I'm tired and pissed off and you're a cop and I'm a con and because it's raining and I forgot my umbrella and most of all I'm broke. I'll take that as a yes, then, and I'll see you at half eight. Okay, then it's a date. I'll see you later. I've got a few things to do first. Like sort out a little dispute over sentencing and get rid of this damn collar. You can call me old-fashioned, but I still believe in the death sentence. <laughs>
got 15 minutes left. If you don't get the last three out, it's bye-bye brains. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I suppose that bastard Hasegawa sent you to bring me back. Yeah, I get all the glamorous jobs. <laughs> Lucky for you. Your being here is kind of a bummer for me as well, because once I got this off, you'll run me in. Hey, you've got to be kidding. If you found a way of getting these goddamn collars off, then you can bet I'm going to be next in that seat. Now for the one on the right. Just two more to go. So how much did you get for it? The cyber police data files that you leaked. <laughs> 50 million. Pretty cool, huh? I just hope it won't cost me my neck. Who bought it? Ah, oh, come on. You can't expect me to tell you that. Which fuse do you think comes next? Take the right one. Maybe. Nah, I'll do the one on the left. He didn't say who he sold the information to then? No, Frag not. I asked him, but he wasn't in any mood to talk. I know one thing for sure. We're not dealing with any small-time organization. They paid 50 million for it. If that information were to fall into the wrong hands, it could be very bad for the department.
deceased is James Takagi, 32 years old, with six prior convictions for aggravated burglary and grievous bodily harm. Well, he sure as hell won't be doing it again. Varsus, come over here and tell me what kind of droid made this print. There is a possibility this print belongs to a new Osaka A model. That doesn't ring any bells with me. It is only used by Japanese military special forces. The military? Excuse me down there. I'd like to ask you some questions about those bits. Now that kind of attitude will only get you into trouble. <laughs> you'd like to tell me who you're supplying this shit to, or else I'm gonna cut your fucking head off. Come on, spit it out before I get impatient. Benton, I found it. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. It all checks out. He's Kazuo Shirama, a major in the Special Forces R&D unit. That's not very good news. The Special Forces are tough. Now that you mention it, Sengoku was just asking for the plans of the Special Forces base in the harbor. Sengoku? I haven't got any details, but I think his case involves an investigation into their activities as well. I must inform you that what you are intending to do constitutes illegal entry. I know that, but it's the only way I'll ever get into a Special Forces base without a search warrant, okay? I cannot approve of such illegal activities. That's okay, it's not you that's doing it. This is true, but if I do not take appropriate action, I'm an accessory to a crime. I must ask you to desist. Look, just fuck off, will you? Fuck off. This is a phrase you frequently use erroneously. The colloquial word fuck, meaning to copulate, is inappropriate when applied to a machine without means of genetic reproduction, as in this instance. I am unsure of what you are suggesting I should do. In any case, it does not alter the fact that you are committing a state crime by violating Code 324. closed for six hours now. There's nothing we can do for the time being. So what brings you down here, Benton? Perhaps you're looking for an earring you flushed down the john. Yeah, something like that. Seeing as we gotta wait for the tide to go out, we may as well try and do something useful. Oh yeah? Like what? Planted on one of the power lines. Fuck that. You can do it yourself. I'm gonna take a nap. You're so helpful. Pizza, you must have the wrong address. Try down the road. Very smart. Now open up. Military special forces. Any particular reason why I should? I'm not obliged to give you a reason, but since you ask, we're looking for a criminal who disappeared around here. In that case, I'm happy to help you out. However, I haven't seen anybody around here. Sorry, I didn't know you were with the cyber police. We're looking for a woman. She must be about 25. No one's been around, but if I see the broad, I'll be sure to let you know. All right, then. Okay, move on out! (laughs) 
So, Sarah, business must be booming if you're being chased by a special forces unit. Phew. Thank God they've gone. It's been a long time, Gogol. You haven't changed. You think so? Since I stopped working with you, I haven't done half as well as you think I've done. I keep messing things up. Why don't we start working together again? One day, maybe, but for the time being, I have to be a cyber cop, not a criminal. At least until I can get this fucking collar off. I'm joking. I know you've got to do your duty if you want to save your neck. <laughs> so what have you done to piss off the Special Forces so much? I managed to hack into the military strategic computer and download some classified information. I thought I'd find a buyer on the black market. Here it is. God knows what it is, but they sure want it back. I've been on the run for weeks. How'd they find out it was you? Although I hacked into their system, okay, I didn't realize I'd alerted the security demon and it traced me. Incredible. You've already been able to access the data. You are the original computer genius. Glad you think so. My god, it's top secret. It's heavy stuff. It looks like the design's for some sort of new cyborg. Shit! It sounds like they come back. What are you doing? Trouble, Sarah. Those guys won't get off your case until they have their information back. And knowing the special forces, they'll want you dead, too. This is Iron 70 reporting in. He's taken the bait and is heading north towards Sector 479 minus. Good. Just keep them under surveillance for now. Roger. Sengoku and Benton have been in the base for four hours now, but we've had no word from them yet. Well, don't worry about them. They'll be fine. Besides, there's absolutely no way of contacting them while they're underwater. Uh, but, sir... Thank you, Miss Janucci. You have permission to leave. Yes, sir. Thank you. <gasps> Hello. Long time no see. Well, well, Staff Officer Mishiba, this is a pleasant... Uh, this is a surprise. <laughs> so how are the cyber police managing in the fight against crime? I wasn't aware that a staff officer in the Imperial Japanese Army was much concerned with trivia like public order and safety. Well, in the normal course of things, you're quite right. I wouldn't be bothered, but just at the moment, I have a particular personal interest in the crime rate. You see, the lack of a decent war to fight turns a man's mind to finding solutions for other problems which afflict the society that we serve. Very commendable. Oh, you needn't worry. I'm not about to give you any top tips or handy hints on how you should do your job. I have business to discuss with you. Okay, then let's hear it. One of your so-called policemen has hacked into our mainframe strategic computer and downloaded some data which is top secret. He's presently on the run from my men, but they'll catch him sooner rather than later. He's called Gogol. Gogol? I know he's nominally called a policeman these days, but he's still just a criminal at heart, so there's no surprise he'd do this kind of thing. You ought to keep him on a tighter leash. All right, I'll get on to it for you. No, I'd rather you didn't. As I told you, the data he took is top secret, so you'll have to allow the special forces to sort this out on their own. At any rate, we have a weapon available for just such an occasion as this. A weapon? Oh, yes. Allow me to explain. 
As I told you, we're deeply concerned by the growing lawlessness in Oedo. This weapon has been developed specifically to maintain public order, and this is the perfect time to try it out. Given that this Gogol is both a hardened criminal and has the benefit of cyber police training, it would be hard to devise a better test of the equipment. We're planning to present it to the President at the next meeting of the National Defense Conference. Once he's seen it, I'm confident that we will be entrusted with keeping the peace in Oedo. Well, it must be quite a gadget. Oh yes, it's quite a gadget, all right. Your bunch of collar-wearing criminal dogs will soon be back in prison where they belong, and I give you fair warning. You're going to be out of a job. We'll see, won't we? I hope this machine of yours is better than your computer. A Gogol broke into that. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't take this contraption of yours, smash it into a thousand pieces, and stuff them up your ass. Well, my goodness. There's something to look forward to. However, I suspect my machine will be stuffing the remains of Gogol up your sphincter. Be seeing you. Did he react as we expected? Exactly. Major Shiroyama, this machine had better not fail. Don't worry, sir. I can personally guarantee the Molkos is bottomless. Here. Call me back later. Whatever it is I'll have to keep till tomorrow. I'm busy now. Do you know you're being chased by the special forces? Gogol? They have a new weapon. Do you know what it is? Answer me, goddamn you. Do you mean the thing on the stolen data? Yes, that's it. Well, I'm not absolutely sure, but I think it's some kind of cyborg. Now listen, whatever it is, it's gonna be coming after you very soon. You what? Look, I don't have any time to explain, but I happen to know it's going to be with you very soon. You have to destroy it. That's an order. You have eight hours from now to finish it, or I'll finish you. Ugh, that's fucking typical. God, I hate that bastard. I'm sorry, Gogol. It's not worth being sorry about. This sort of shit happens to me all the time. This is D-Wing. He's coming your way right now. Roger. We're ready for him. Here they are. So fasten your seatbelts. Huh? Sorry, I sometimes forget that the line of work you're in makes you used to this stuff. Being chased is all in the day's work for you. That's right. It's all in the day's work for me. Do you remember that time you broke that satellite control code and we held it for ransom? Yeah, I'll always remember that. I wish we were still doing that kind of work. Together, we used to make a great team. Red Eagle, take out the girl. Shit. Eat this, Dick Splash. Hey, good shooting. I see you haven't lost your touch. I wish that was true. I'm afraid you'll find I'm not what I was. Okay, let's go, Sengoku.
Barsas, are you receiving my signal? Signal is clear. I'm going to send you some video of mechanical feet. Tell me if they match the prints we found. Roger. Completed. I can give you a 98.7% certainty they are the same. Excellent. These guys are just revolving. Hey, Benton. Look at this stuff. God, it's Gogol's dad. What have they got that for? Fuck knows. Perhaps they want to recruit him. What's that? I don't know. But I know what that is. What? It's a battle simulation. Looks like Gogol versus some kind of new weapon they just cooked up. My guess is they're gonna use him as a kind of guinea pig. Gogol, would you pull over, please? Okay, what's wrong, Sarah? I'm sorry, I have to run you in. There's nothing I can do about it. You see, I'm working for the military now. One month ago, a contact of mine gave me a password to access a special forces own mainframe strategic computer. I knew it would be a dangerous and risky thing to do, but taking risks has never really worried me. Unfortunately, the security demon traced me and they were able to catch up with me. Now, to cut a long story short, they promised to let me go if I would help them with their latest project. All right, I get the picture. I should have guessed it was a trap when you first showed up again. You better run me in now, because in eight hours I won't have a head. I can't. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel as if I've lost control of my life. I can't run you in. Look, don't worry about it. I realize it's none of your fault. Those bastards are just using you in the same way Hasegawa uses me. It just isn't the same. I really can't stand myself anymore. I can't believe it's turned out like this. If only I could turn the clock back, then we could be the way we were. It's not your fault, Sarah. Everyone makes mistakes. Now forget it. <laughs> I hope one day you and I will be able to work together as a team again. But first I'd have to get this damn collar off and we have to figure out a way of dealing with this situation we've got into. Now come on, Sarah, let's get it together. Between us we can beat this bunch of limp dicks. Sarah, I want you to get out of here. It's me this sucker wants to talk to.
All right, big man, hold it right there. You're under arrest for aiding and abetting a criminal. Perhaps I should say an ex-criminal. Pity she was so cute. You monster. You knew full well she'd never get out of this alive. You fucking murdered her, you shit. I'm surprised you care about her, particularly after she stitched you up. Still, there are plenty more fish in the sea, so don't distress yourself too much. Anyway, enough about women. This thing's got psychic operation armor. It's a system designed to stimulate the latent psychic receptors in the subject's brain and channel them for use as weapons. Psychic operation armor? So they're taking those stiffs, putting them into heavily armored robotic suits, and giving them psychic powers. Looks like it. Wow. If I was a betting man, I wouldn't give Gogol good odds. No, neither would I. We'll know for sure when Project Malkars is tested. Unfortunately, you two are never going to know the result. Because you'll both be long dead before it takes place. Cheer up, gentlemen. You're going to be flatmates together. Well, I'd like to think about it. I hate being pressurized. Nice, snappy comeback. I like it. <laughs> you sound like you've got guts. Still, we'll soon find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to detonate the bombs I said earlier to create a blackout. Okay, I'll wait for your signal. Watch this, guys. He's going to look like a fucking pancake. <laughs> I suggest you tell me where they're holding the Molkos test, unless you want me to chuck you in the crusher. Get out! Uh, very useful. Nice, safe front row seats. must have bought the cyber police data from Yamabana. They would have found out that Sarah had once been my partner and used it to lure me into this trap. I'll bet they even primed Sarah's contact with the strategic computer's access code so they'd have an excuse to arrest her. This whole fucking thing was set up from the beginning so I'd have to fight their damn new tin machine. I hope you got good money in your crappy cyborg. Because you're gonna lose it. I'm gonna kick that pile of junkyard shit into fucking pieces. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Eight. Gas firepower.
I'm impressed. You've done very well with the Molkus project, Shirayama. You'll have a promotion. Thank you, sir, for your generosity. However, I'd like you to watch the rest of the demonstration. What you've seen so far is only a small fraction of the firepower Molkos has available. Marcus's psychic power output is now at maximum, sir. The interior temperature has risen to 50 degrees. Don't worry, it's not critical yet. My creation is so magnificent. It's all over. You have my permission to terminate the demonstration. Right you are, sir. That's no problem. Call Malkos. Tell him to terminate his opponent. <laughs> 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 Going on. It's one of our floaters, sir. I know that. Find out who's flying it. You'll find my men are flying it. Hasegawa. Please show our guest in. You'll have to excuse me dropping by like this, but I've been studying the designs for this new Molkos weapon of yours, and I couldn't help noticing that an essential ingredient in its construction is a recently deceased human being. I'm sure you realize that the unauthorized use of human remains carries a stiff sentence. In addition, I have evidence that shows you acquired the human material illegally. Therefore, I have no alternative but to arrest you both. I don't think so. We're not in the mood. You see, what we have here is the answer to all of Oedo's law enforcement problems in one fell swoop. Okay, so maybe we bent the rules here and there, but who cares when you get a result? You can't threaten us with arrest. When the president sees the videotape of this demonstration, he'll be delighted. And you'll be looking for a new job. We'll see. The demonstration isn't over yet. Don't be stupid. That idiot of yours is no match for my Malkos. He's having a hard enough time just running away from the damn thing. Hello, Varsas. Get me Gogol. Connecting you now. Gogol, you have to get back up there and fight that thing. Understand? I won't let you give up yet. There is no way you're finished after an eight count. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever agreed with you. There's no way that tin fucker will get the better of me. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go back and fight that monstrosity? It is inadvisable. I estimate your fighting ability has been reduced by 65 to 70 percent. You should reconsider your decision. I know what I'm doing. Now shut the fuck up, all of you. There's nothing else you can do, Sengoku. You won't be able to dissuade him. Temperature has passed the 55 degree threshold, sir. 
It's possible it may have an adverse effect on the circulatory system. Don't worry about it. I incorporated an extra auxiliary cooling system into the power. With him. I don't know, sir. The control system seems to be malfunctioning. It's not responding at all. Uh, is something bothering you, is it, Shitwitz? Vice has come in. Do you read me? Reception clear. It's amazing. I can't believe he's still alive. Me too. It's incredible. Vice, I want you to record this sound. <laughs> The recording you required is completed. Good, now broadcast it back on the speaker in my collar. As loud as you possibly can, okay? Roger. Surely you can't be having a spot of bother with your machine. Destroy him! <laughs> you have to get up, Mokos! I'm giving you an order! It was pretty tough, I'll give him that. Now you... What? Yeah, that's right. It's your turn now, soldier boy. How do you fancy your chances? Your machine was pretty good, but a limp dick pen pusher like you, not so good. Normally I'd be too tired to bother killing you. But see, I owe you one for Sarah's death. 
Well, if you're so worried about her, I'll send you straight to hell so you can see her. Stop! Well, it looks like your man got a big hand out there. Incidentally, Miss Sheba, you're busted. You can either give yourself up now, or I'll send some of my guys around later. Think it over. Either way, I'll be seeing you real soon. Gogol, nice work out there. I'm canceling the countdown on your collar.
A beautiful girl like you shouldn't be out for a walk this late. This city's a dangerous place. Besides, the stars aren't in alignment tonight. It's a bad omen. Don't worry, I'm okay. I'm a cyber police officer. So you can read the stars. Are they always right? Usually. Some nights it can be difficult to interpret them. It's incredible. That the light from those stars has taken millions of years to get here. How many lifetimes must it have taken for that light to reach the Earth? More than we can imagine, but the Earth is only the start of its great journey. An insignificant speck in the cosmos. That would be the most terrible curse. To go on forever. No. One day everything has to end. Even the light. Age 42 years. Records show he has been arrested on four previous occasions on charges of illegal biogenetic engineering. He had three acquittals and one conviction. This is the third one with neck wounds like this. I have to conclude, it's a vampire. But why is it written that number on the wall in blood? You are incorrect to assume this is the work of a vampire. They are mythical creatures and there is no evidence to support their existence. At present, I have insufficient data to interpret the meaning of the number on the wall. Thanks, you're such a help. Let's see what he was doing. Looks like a genetic binary code of some sort. That ties in with the other cases. All these men were conducting illegal research in the field of biotechnology. It's my guess they must have been working on something that somebody would like to keep quiet. If we can find out what it was, then it should lead us to whoever the criminal is. Now, I want this case wrapped up before anybody else dies. I thought vampires were supposed to sleep during the day. So let's forget about it till this evening. What? Don't you know anything, Sengaku? The day's the best time to catch a vampire and drive a stake through his heart. Do what you like. Just catch whoever's behind this and throw the bastard into prison. Vars asked, that number that was written on the wall, have you found out what it meant? At present, I have been unable to decipher it. The greatest probability is that it is a manufacturer or registration number of some sort. Possibility? That's not much fucking use, is it, dickhead? Yeah, you're gonna have to give us a bit more than that to go on. 
Huh? Well, check this out and see if it gives us any clues. Hey, Benton. <laughs> don't crap your pants if you see a vampire out there. Get lost. You wouldn't recognize a goddamn vampire if one jumped up and bit you on the end of your fucking dick. So just get off my back. <laughs> I recognize the second guy. I met him about five years ago when he was trying to buy some unusual drugs, if you know what I mean. But I definitely haven't seen him since then. Perhaps I could interest you in this recreational compound of my own manufacture. Ah, I don't know nothing. I never even met those guys. I just heard they was into something heavy. I don't know what, though. It doesn't look like it did them any good. Well, let me see. The third man is Ichiro Edjima. He came to me about a month ago absolutely scared as hell. He wanted me to sell him a real big gun. Point forty-eight auto loader with high max shells. Uh, he must have been real scared to want it. Yeah, I heard he was dead. He used to be one of my regular customers. <laughs> he didn't talk much. You know, for some guys, that's all they want, just to talk. Mind you, he wasn't like that. He always wanted some action. Speaking of which, if you've got time to kill... No, thanks. Sorry, I can't help you. I never heard of any of them. Just a word of friendly advice, officer. But if I was you, I'd keep my nose out of other people's business. Otherwise, you know... You could have a nasty accident. <laughs> okay, what's so funny? Well, looky here, boys. We just caught ourselves a cyber piggy. <laughs> Boy, I've got to hand it to you boys. You're not as stupid as you look. That'd be impossible. Hey, the pig's a comedian. Everybody laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so who put you up to this? Huh? Nobody put us up to this. We're doing it because we enjoy killing pigs. Who needs a better reason than that? Fair enough. You're probably telling the truth. After all, no one would be stupid enough to hire you to do anything. Fuck you. Don't try it. If it's not cooked properly, I hear pig can give you the shit. <laughs> hey, your friend seems to be losing his grip. Now leave before you lose your heads. <laughs> I always liked your style, Benton. It's been a while, Carrie. When did you get back to Oedo? Keep your nose out of this, Benton. I don't want to kill you unless I have to. Well, that's nice. I don't want to have to kill you either. Benton? If you get in my way, you won't live to regret it. All right, I'll let you go this time. Who put you up to this job, Carrie? Listen, I only let you go for old time's sakes. Now keep out of this. Not possible. If I see you again, I'll kill you. Well, we'll see about that, Carrie. We'll see. Icebreakers are very ingenious little bits of software. I'm highly impressed. Unfortunately, I have to tell you, they're also highly illegal. So you could be looking at a stiff sentence. How can I help you? 
Yeah, sure, I knew these guys. All of them. They weren't such bad men. Very talented. Much more than the usual scum you get. Anyway, I know they all got scared. Wouldn't say what it was, but they were terrified. They got themselves mixed up with something bad at their last employer's place. I see. And who was their last employer? Oh, for Christ's sakes, you're a smart guy. You can't expect me to tell you that. You know what had happened. Check their bank records. Wow! They each received 2.5 million a month until July of last year. Now let's see who was paying those salaries. What? So who was it then? It was Shuzo Sanji, president of the Sanji Medical Institute. Thanks, Okyo. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. Well, well, this is a turn up for the books. You're absolutely correct, but I fired them all last year, I think around July. We know that from their bank records. What I'm anxious to find out is why you fired them. Well, they weren't very trustworthy. You see, this is a state-registered facility, and our research is highly confidential. And when they alerted me to the men's previous criminal records, I had to dismiss them. It's very unfortunate, but you can't trust anybody these days. Excuse me for asking, but the research you're doing, there wouldn't be anything in it which might have badly scared these three men. I can't even begin to imagine what you mean. Our research is quite legitimate. Excuse me, sir, but it's time for your medication. Mm. I have to watch my health, so please excuse me. If you want to live as long as I have, make sure you get plenty of rest. Thanks for the tip and all of your help. Dr. Yamashita, please come to Theater 6. Will Dr. Kajizanda please go to the cryogenic refrigeration department for case analysis of patient number CSP7491? Of course, the number on the wall. Could it be the registration number of a cryogenic capsule? to unauthorized personnel. Please insert your identity card to continue. Remy Masuda, frozen in the year 2504. Everything frozen in here are these rose petals.
right about one thing. You can't trust anyone. You want data from the year 2504? That's right. I want anything on Remy Masuda. Well, I'll try, but I'm not sure if I've got 300-year-old records. Benton, it's Gogol here. I've been looking at the data you found at the scene of the crime. So, go on then. You won't like it much. Never mind, just tell me about it. It's a genetic code for a virus. It changes the cell structure so it constantly regenerates. In other words, it's a super virus for immortality. Huh, sounds like Nobel Prize material. Well, not quite. It has side effects. The first is it stimulates a person's cerebral cortex to bring out their latent psychic powers. So someone taking this stuff would be able to levitate themselves and float in through an upper story tower block window? Of course. However, side effect number two is much less useful. The virus interferes with the function of the blood's hemoglobin. An infected person will therefore need a new supply, which means they have to drink fresh blood. Of course they do. Well, that explains our little vampire mystery. Yes, I think so. But there's something else I don't understand. It's the data the last victim was working on before he was killed. Was he trying to create some other kind of monster? I don't think so. As far as I can make out, it's a slightly mutated version of the original, but I need to do more work. Okay, well when you find out what it is, give me a call. I'm gonna give you a sporting chance. Don't be stupid, Carrie. We don't have to go through with this. Oh yes, I'm afraid we do. I have to fulfill my contract. So tell me, who is your employer? Okay, then I'll try and guess. It's a man who's been alive for a very long time. Am I right? Let's get on with it. I don't want to kill you, but it seems I haven't much choice. You won't kill me, Benton. I'll get you first. <laughs> we shall see. Sorry it had to end this way. Now perhaps you could tell me who your employer is. Your first guess was right. <sighs> Sionji may be old, but I'll make sure he doesn't live to be any older. The bastard. Hello, Benton. It's Okio. Listen, I found that 300-year-old data that you wanted. Send it through. Okay. Shitwits, either you open the fucking door or I'm coming in for you. Shit, too late. Oh, for fuck's sakes. You're not getting away with this. I'll find you with this homing device, you blood sucking son of a bitch. Yes, of course. So that's what you were up to. That's it. That's why Sayonji wanted you all dead. He's scared of this stuff. I'm told there was a beautiful park here once. About 300 years ago. 
And they say you used to live nearby. Things must have been much better in those days. That's the case, isn't it, Remy Masuda? Yes, you're right. Just over there was the most beautiful rose garden. On summer evenings, I used to sit on my terrace sipping tea and enjoying the fragrance of the flowers. You like roses, don't you? When I looked in your cryogenic capsule, all I discovered were some rose petals. It was probably my parents who would have put them in the capsule for me. I was dying from a rare form of hereditary anemia. It was decided that before the disease went too far, I should be put into cryogenic suspension in the hope that a cure would be found in the future. While I was asleep, I dreamt of this place. Of the roses. And of my parents and the way things used to be. Then I awoke, and all my dreaming has stopped. My new life is a living nightmare. Try not to worry. Your nightmare will be over soon. Benton! Get away from that girl! She's dangerous! Well, I've never been interested in nice girls. Ha! You should be on stage! Now get your ass out of there! Warning! Fighting is prohibited in the Cyber Police Code Section 4. You must cease huh? immediately. She's got away! Come back, you idiot! Asagawa here. You must apprehend the suspect. If Benton tries to stop you, kill him. Oh, you worthless piece of tin shit. You told him! I had to. Listen, Hasegawa. You can stuff it up your ass and swivel on it. I'm not finishing off Benton for you. You don't have a choice, Ngaku. Either you do what I tell you or I'll take you out. You've got one hour starting now. You've done it, Gogol! Get this through to the pharmaceutical department fast, okay? Sir! Sayanji Medical Center. He's heading for the space elevator. Excellent. There's a shuttle docking bay on the platform next to it. The space elevator is off limits to unauthorized personnel. Please insert your identity card. Stop! Hold on a minute, Remy! I wasn't the only person to be abused by one of his experiments. In his quest for immortality, he used human beings like laboratory rats, and no one except me survived. And it's for the sake of those who died that I am forced to do this. I cannot rest until Sayanji has been made to pay for his atrocities. He made me into a monster, and now his creation is going to exterminate him. Remy! Wait! this case, you'll have to take me out first. Fine. I never liked you much. Ooh. 
If you let the suspect get away, I'll kill you myself. Now take this. It's the only thing that'll kill the vampire. The researchers the Triangi fired and then killed were working on a vaccine to destroy his creation. They knew it was the only thing that might save them. I've put it inside that katana. You must plunge it into the vampire's heart. I was expecting you. Won't you come in? You bastard. Well, now you're going to die. I admit there is nothing more terrifying than death. All my life, immortality has been my dream. Your dream is a nightmare. I only agreed to be put in cryogenic suspension because I thought that one day a cure for my disease would be found. But you have woken me into a living hell. My mortal life is fast coming to an end, but thanks to you and others like you, immortality is in my grasp. The virus which you helped to develop. I have taken a very large dose and will soon become immortal. <laughs> uh, you are too late. The virus is beginning to work. And now, finally, I have all immortality and power. I am nothing less than a man-made god! <gasps> now, you ungrateful fool. As it was I who gave you the gift of life, it shall be my privilege to extinguish it by sucking the immortal lifeblood which courses through the veins of your body. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Carrie was always a nice girl, but a real lousy shot. Now, Mr. Saihanji, I am arresting you for a whole host of shit I can't be bothered to list. You have the right to remain silent and so on. Very funny, but I don't think you'll arrest me. You must understand I am no longer bound by your mortal laws. Now I shall destroy you!
Was that your best shot? I told you I'm immortal. There's nothing that can kill me. I'm going to live till the end of time and beyond forever. Beyond forever? You should know that's impossible. Everything in the universe starts somewhere and ends somewhere. There are no exceptions to the rule. There's no forever, and you're not special. You're gonna go the way of all flesh. Now it's time I put you out of my misery. My nightmare is now over. Thank you for letting me rest in peace. Just relax. Now you'll have the sweetest of dreams. Yes. I'm going to dream of you. It's incredible that the light from those stars has taken millions of years to get here. How many lifetimes must it have taken for the light to reach the Earth? More than we can imagine, but the Earth is only the start of its great journey, an insignificant speck in the cosmos. I will travel with the light forever, dreaming of you. No, nothing lasts forever. Everything comes to the end of its journey one day, even the light. light